Mariners and Oakland Athletics played two games over in Tokyo. Game one was highlighted by a pitching duel between Brandon McCarthy of the Oakland A's and Felix Hernandez of the Seattle Mariners. Felix, one of the elite pitchers in baseball today, went eight strong, giving up just one run on five hits, no walks, and six strikeouts. With the lack of run support he usually receives, he received a no decision. The Mariners later won the game by a score of three to one behind a strong game by Dustin Ackley, who went two for five with a home run and a game-winning single in the 11th inning. Oakland rebounded in game two behind a stellar pitching performance by former Yankee Bartolo Colon, who also went eight strong, giving up just three hits and one run. Tomorrow night, the defending champion St. Louis Cardinals begin their season in Miami with a take on the new-look Miami Marlins. This will be the first time in 11 years the Cardinals take the field on opening day without all-star first baseman Albert Bulos, as he decided to sign a long-term deal with the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim for 10 years, $240 million. It figures to be another typical year in New York, with the Yankees expected to do very well, and the Mets expected to do, well, quite frankly, absolutely nothing. <laughs> the Yankees added depth in their starting rotation, adding a great young arm in Michael Pineda in a trade that sent top prospect Jesus Montero to the Seattle Mariners. Also, the Yankees signed former Dodger Baraki Kuroda, who will in all likelihood be the number two in the rotation behind ACC Sabathia. The lineup is expected to be much of the same, with the only change being Robinson, Robinson Cano moving to the three hole and Teixeira moving to the five hole. The Yankees expect a big re rebound year out of third baseman Alex Rodriguez, and they're going to need it in the playoffs with going against powerhouses like Texas and Detroit. On the other side of the Big Apple, although I'm sure many of you thought it was impossible, the Mets did in fact get worse. They lost, they lost Jose Reyes to the, floor, to the Miami Marlins, traded Angel Pagan to the Giants, and there are several question marks surrounding the health of David Wright, Ike Davis, and opening day starter Johan Santana. On a minor bright note, the Mets did manage to strengthen their bullpen, bringing in two average at best pitchers in Frank Francisco and John Rauch, formerly of the Toronto Blue Jays. Well, that'll be all for today's segment, but before I go, I'd just like to give a special shout out to my father on his 65th birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you, pal. Right. Back to you, Howard. Right. Great, great job. I, I would dispute one thing he said. Michael Pineda, great arm. So far, he's been a batting practice picture, and it looks like uh, uh, Cashman has got raked over the coals with that one. But we'll see. He was great in the beginning of last year, but uh, the jury is uh, certainly out. One thing the jury is never out, and the man who has his hands on the What's going on in Long Beach music scene? He knows every musician in Long Beach. He knows every bar, restaurant. He's on top of the Long Beach music scene like no other. Let's give it up for Benoit and the music scene. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you. Um, the big news really is uh, the True Live Jam is really pumped up this week. We got three showcase bands coming in uh, on top of the master class that I've been uh, putting together. Thanks a lot to Steve Adelson and uh, Joanne J. Bird Phillips for uh, coming in as guest clinicians last week. Jo J. Bird did her percussion clinic and we were all banging on drums. We, it was a really great vibe and she's going to come back in May. Um, Check musicnoir.com, M-U-S-I-C-N-O-I-R.com for all my events and, and recommendations uh, and collaborations. But basically that masterclass thing is awesome. We've had all these people show up, um, you know, beginner musicians or people who put down their instruments for years and we go through scales and we jam a little and then we'll talk about things and we spend about an hour and a half there and uh, suggested five dollar donation towards whoever's running it. Uh, I will be running it myself this week and uh, we're going to go over the pentatonic scale and it's a very useful scale and it's a lot of fun it's a blues based five note scale um, and uh, you know we've done all the modes in the past but anyway back to the music the showcase bands coming down this thursday include uh bassist dave pellegrino uh, is going to introduce us to the mike ernst live art fusion band they do parties in huntington where they have live painting and I'm always into that mixed media thing. I know you are too. It's fun to have a different atmosphere, not just music, but art. And they're coming down around 11, I believe. We also have the return of Riot Academy. They're a hot band, uh, Oceanside and other places, but um, those guys are great. They've rocked our jam. They helped us start the whole thing. So shout out to those guys, uh, Mike, Lou, and the rest of the gang. And uh, they play kind of a blend of like punky ska rock music. They're really good. They're really energetic. You've seen them, right, Howie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, also from, uh, we met up with a really interesting singer. If you guys like Lady Gaga and that kind of stuff, this girl, Melody Joy, 
Uh, I was with Bonnie the Gourmet Girl, and we went to uh, the Trash Bar in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I was performing with Ginger Dust, which was an amazing show. Shout out to Natalie. And basically, uh, Melody Joy, she's coming down the showcase as well. So this week, 7 to 8.30 is the Masterclass, 9 to 1 is the Jam. You can sign up. Ladies play pool free all night long. And, uh, you know, that's an awesome, amazing deal. Any of you ladies can come down. We haven't had guys in skirts and wigs yet, but I'm imagining that we may get some of that stuff because it's ladies play free all night. I'm just joking, of course. But if you guys want to come down, and, I know. Howie, don't show up in the, in the wig this no. week, all right? Um, what else is going on? There's other things going on. You know, just check in with all your clubs. You know, Bahia has a lot of loud music, uh, the old Tiki Bar. Um, you know, you've got the Inn. You've got Minnesota's, you've got, uh, you know, Cabana has a lot of music, Wells, Tell, Trainers. We're still doing the jam at Trainers on Sunday. Uh, that was a lot of fun this week. We're going more acoustic with that. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to all these shows. Thanks a lot, Howie, for having me on. Okay. Excellent. All right. It went down on Sunday. WWE WrestleMania. Rocco, what went down? Thank you very much. Uh, WrestleMania 28 went down. It went down la uh, last night um, at 7 o'clock on pay-per-view. It was at the Sun Life Stadium in Miami Gardens. It was an um, amazing looking show. But I think that the best um, person to talk about WrestleMania will be um, my, my colleague Mayor, who actually got to go see it. So um, without further ado, here is Mayor with a recap of what happened. Hey, what's going on, WrestleMania people? What's going on, WWE Universe, especially Long Island? WrestleMania 28, wow, what a WrestleMania. I enjoyed it very much. It was called the People's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 28, live in Miami at American Airlines Arena. Wow, what a, what a match. CM Punk, I gotta start with him. Great pop, props of keeping your title as WWE Champion. You can see I'm wearing a shirt today representing the champion right here. The Rock and John Cena, that was a great match uh, with The Rock. I can't believe The Rock's, The Rock won after 70 long years being in WrestleMania. Um, John Laurinaitis and Teddy Long, T I, I, was, I, I rooted for originally the SmackDown team, Teddy. But unfortunately, um, Laurinaitis' team got him at the end with um, The Miz um, bringing um, Zack Ryder to the mat. And I'm not allowed to say, smack, give him a smack down on the, on the ring. And I gotta say, great job to the to um, the uh, Zack Ryder because Zack Ryder, you did a good performance. I give you props for at least showing your showing your true talent on that ring at WrestleMania 28. Also, I gotta say, I gotta say, congratulations to the Divas for WWE Divas. Um, Undertaker. Oh yeah, I gotta talk about Undertaker 20 and 0 Triple H versus the Undertaker. Wow. Um, Undertaker totally annihilated um, in Hell in the Cell with Triple H, and that was my WWE report. Also, if you want more information, I'll give it to you on my, on my Facebook page. We will give you that. And well, I can't wait. WrestleMania 29. Um, it's Stacy then. Stacy. Game. Uh, we've got the uh, fitness report with uh, Stacy Meyer. Thank you, Howie. I wanted to just uh, say thank you to the Lido Elementary School today for Career Day and inviting us down. So I wanted to talk a little bit about children's fitness and what Team Beachbody has to offer for uh, children's health and fitness programs. The company Beachbody, we have uh, Get Real with Sean T and Sean T's Fit Kids Club and Tony and the Kids. They're great exercise programs. A lot of people don't realize that we not only have you know, P90X for adults, and insanity. Children can also do that with their uh, parents as well. You know, do it at their own pace and don't push themselves. And I also stress to the kids that breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day. If you don't eat breakfast, you're not going to have energy for the rest of the day. Uh, you need that energy and that great nutrition to keep you going. And if you want to learn any more about Beachbody and the products that we offer, you can go to my website at www.beachbodycoach.com forward slash Stacey Meyer. That's S-T-A-C-E-Y-M-E-Y-E-R. Back to you, Howie. All right. Great job, Stacey. And I can't think of a better way to close the show. Uh, it's a, it's a original poem he wrote, and it's so apropos because we're in the West End of Long Beach. Let's give it up for Rocco Passafume. Thank you, Howie. Uh, 
Um, I had the privilege of performing this poem last week when we were in the WGBB studio, and I thank Howie very much for letting me do this because it was him who pushed me to do this. Um, he just saw that I do this, and I, I've been doing it since I was a teenager. Um, I wrote this poem. It's called True Love is Out There. I basically wrote it about, because um, I go to clubs and I go to bars a lot, especially in the West End, and is a lot of people who just you know, they struggle all the time to just kind of, you know, just to kind of get by. So basically, I wrote this for them. When you're in the club or bar and you can't seem to catch a break, in a world where people seem so cruel and everybody seems so fake, when you're down in the depths of your despair and it seems like nobody cares, just know that for you, I will always be there. While you're drinking and taking your shots and you're crying the blues, in the crowd of frogs, there is always a prince waiting out there for you. Someone who will hold you so tight for every day and for every night. He's the one who will make everything right. When true love comes, you'll never be the same, and you won't feel any more pain, and your life won't be lived in vain. True love is out there, if you just believe. True love is out there, just you wait and see. True love is out there, if you were with me. Awesome job! Awesome job! That's a great way. I want to thank all our guests. It was an incredible show. Long Beach is by far the best place in the world. And let me wrap. Next week we're at the Avenue Cafe, right on National. Join us there. 